In this video topic, we'll discuss the very basic idea about this course and that is what is MySQL Stored Processor. So if we get the complete idea before starting this complete course, it will be super easy to understand about each concept what we'll discuss step by step inside this amazing course. Let's go back to editor. So first thing first, what is MySQL Stored Processor? So MySQL Stored Processor is a set of declarative statements what basically we execute inside database. So here, first we have to understand that what is a declarative statement in MySQL. So for example, let's say that inside our database, we have a table called users and inside this users table, we have the columns as ID, name, email, phone number and let's say designation. So as we know that if we want to insert any data inside this users table, we have to use call insert statement. And if we want to update any data, we have to use update statement. And the same pattern, if we want to select any data, we have to execute select statement. And finally, for delete data, we have to use delete statement. So in case if we want to do, for example, insert operation, we have to write insert command and inside insert command, we have to mention the table name, the columns and the values. So each MySQL command will be known as a declarative statement. So here, if we write an insert command to insert our data into users table, so each line of code will be a declarative statement inside MySQL. So in the same way, if we write a single command to update any record inside this users table, so that update command will be a declarative statement in MySQL. In the same way, for select a statement and delete a statement. Now here, let's understand one more time about the concept of declarative statement in case of any curve based operations inside MySQL. So for example, if I want to insert any data inside users table, so the command will be, command will be something called insert into the table name we have users. I want to insert the value of name, email, phone and designation. Then after that, here we have the values keyword and inside parenthesis, we have to pass the first value, second value, third value and fourth value. So this is known as a declarative statement in MySQL because by the help of the single line command, actually we are inserting a new record inside this users table. So in the same way, if we want to update any data, command will be command will be update, then here we have to pass the table name called users. For example, I want to update the name value or email value. So here name equals to, it will contain the updated name, updated name in case also I want to update the phone number. So column, then here it will contain the updated phone number. And finally, we have to add some condition. So here, where it equals to, for example, to here. So this is also a declarative statement. So in this line of code, simply by the help of this ID, we are updating some information, for example, name and phone number of this user ID too. In same way, if we try to talk about this select statement, so command will be select, let's say I want to select all columns. So here, star or asterisk here. So select asterisk from table name. So table name will be users. If I want to get all users, so this will be the command or in the base of some specific conditions. So where it equals to two. So simply this is also a declarative statement. Now in case if you talk about this delete statement, so command will be delete from table name called users where, let's say where it equals to two. So this is also a declarative statement.
It means that by the help of this id equals to 2, we are deleting a specific record from this user's table. So we can see that here we have some MySQL statements that is insert command, update command, select command, delete command. So each line of code of this MySQL will be known as declarative statement. Now next, if I talk about MySQL stored processor, so as I told you that it is a set of declarative statement, which simply means that we have more than one MySQL sql command we have more than one declarative statement so let's open our new tab so here we'll have some syntax to write a mysql store processor so inside mysql store processor we have a keyword and inside those keyword basically we can write we can define our entire logic of mysql store processor so simply it will start from begin keyword and it will end at and keyword and inside this begin and end keyword we can define the entire logic we can define the set of all my sql statements what basically we want to execute inside a stored processor and the concept of a stored processor we define inside a database so now here if anyone asks from you that what is the difference between a declarative statement and MySQL stored processor, now at this time it is very simple to answer that by the help of declarative statement we can execute or we can do any specific operation. For example, insert a statement like insert operation, update operation, select operation or delete operation. So by the help of declarative statement we can go and execute only a single operation at a time. But by using MySQL stored processor if we define all the logical concept inside this begin and end keyword so we can execute more than one MySQL declarative statements. So this is the very simple difference between a single line command and a MySQL stored processor. Now let's discuss that where basically we can create a MySQL stored processor inside PHP my admin. So if I go back to browser so here let's create a database so click on databases and if i create for example let's say test underscore db so if i click on this create button now you can see that database created so as i told you that this is a phmi admin a free open source tool by the help of that we can interacting with this rdbms it means relational database of mysql so here inside this database we can see that here we have multiple tabs called structure sql search query so inside these tabs here we can see a tab called routines so if i click on this routines and now here we can see a button called create new routines so whenever if i click on this button it will open a model and we can see here so inside this model we can see that we have to pass the routine name and this is mysql store processor name so once we pass here here we have a type drop down something called processor and function so it means by the help of this interface by the help of this logical body we can create a mysql store processor inside this database so here inside this course we'll discuss three methods to create stored processor inside mysql so first we'll be very simple by using the manual interface tool what we're seeing in format of this model so how to use this model how to pass these values to create a stored processor we'll discuss the entire concept into our next video so this will be your first option second option we'll discuss by using our mysql command how to create a stored processor inside our database and third by using mysql cli it means by using command line interface tool so here inside this course we'll discuss three methods to create a stored processor inside mysql so and one more thing before closing this video let's open our duplicate tab so if you are wondering that this option is visible at the database label or if we go inside a specific table so let me tell you that this option called routines or create new routine option will be available if we are at the database label for example if i go here let's open any of the database here so i am going to open this for example wordpress underscore touch so we can see that right now we are inside a database so at this time this option is visible but once we go inside any table for example wp options and now we can see that that option is now invisible from this tab section 
it means all the routines all the processors what we create should be at the database level so successfully now in this video we have the idea some basic idea that what is a declarative statement and what is a mysql stored processor so step by step now we have started to get the complete concept about mysql stored processors so please give us a thumbs up to this interesting course please do subscribe so that i will be creating such of amazing and interesting courses for you so let's meet to our next amazing video so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.